We're just days before the start of the 2023 NFL season. It's supposed to be the quiet before the storm while all the teams focus on getting ready for their first opponent. Not for the Las Vegas Raiders, though. Do the Raiders ever have anything the way it's supposed to be? Perhaps that's why they've only had two winning seasons since 2002. The new regime was supposed to bring an end to all the dysfunction in the organization, but here we go again with edge rusher Chandler Jones after going through it with quarterback Derek Carr last year. So is this the same old thing with a different regime, or is Jones painfully responding to the Raiders simply looking to do the right thing, or what's right for the organization? Let's take a look at Jones first. Jones has really been busy on social media today. He posted this before taking it down earlier. It's a shame that I'm a top athlete with 112 sacks in the NFL and I have to go to a local gym to work out during the season for no apparent reason. This is wild to me, Josh, and you know it. You need to do what's right. So what exactly is doing the right thing? Doing the right thing for the player? Doing the right thing for the organization? Can you do both? I'll have a little more on that later. Here's another one that says, F it. I don't want to play for the Raiders if that's my head coach or GM. I want Patrick Graham, Ivy League brother. Okay, so we already knew that Jones and Graham have a bond, and Graham probably had nothing to do with this. It's the same two suspects that handled the car situation last year. Head coach Josh McDaniels and GM Dave Ziegler. The new regime needs to put together a team that they can win with, so they should do them, but they can handle it better than this. Here's another social media post. They won't let me in the building though. Trying to provoke a brother. That right there means something's going on. If Jones gets hurt, they obviously can't move him, so they're looking for a taker. A lot of you accuse Carr of quitting on the team because he wasn't starting anymore, but that's not what happened. He just agreed not to show up at the building anymore because they didn't want him there. They were looking to trade him after the season, and if he would have gotten injured, that couldn't have happened. Oh, and if he would have gotten injured anywhere on the team's property, Carr's contract would have become guaranteed, so they would have been stuck with him in that big contract. No team wants that if they have plans on moving on from a player, and whatever their plan is, so be it. I want the new regime to have everything they need to win, and if they don't, no excuses. However, Ziegler and McDaniels need to work on how they handle things. Players that go out there and put their bodies on the line for you deserve better communication than that. You'd think McDaniels would be better than that after his time in Denver. Jones is wrong about all that top NFL athlete stuff. There's a way you see yourself and the way the NFL sees you, and he's no longer that in the NFL's eyes. This situation is very similar to the car situation last year. When you have a big contract and you don't perform up to it, you put it in management's hands to keep you or not. If you play well, they have to keep you. Carr didn't and the Raiders couldn't get rid of him fast enough. Neither did Jones and it looks like they're starting a process on him now. I guess they were waiting to see if number 7 overall Tyree Wilson was going to be okay. There's a right and a wrong way to do these things though. Thank you for watching. See you next time.